Hello and welcome. In this walkthrough, we're going to set up Panorama 7 in Bitwig and put it through some paces. In Bitwig, there are multiple ways to load a plugin. We're going to do it by selecting the plus sign next to our instrument. This will bring you to the plugin library where we can find Panorama 7 in the WaveArts folder. We can use the search field to find it. We're adding it to an instrument track meaning we've already loaded up an instrument and made a simple sequence. In this instance, we are using the excellent PolySynth. In case you didn't know, Panorama is a virtual acoustics processor that can produce realistic auditory scenes for playback over headphones or loudspeakers. Panorama uses 3D audio and acoustic environment modeling technology to simulate the acoustics of sound propagation in real spaces. The first thing we need to do is choose which output mode we will be using. If you want to create a special effect for headphone listeners, for example iPhone listeners, use the headphone mode. This mode gives the most realistic 3D experience. Let's play our sequence now in Panorama. You'll notice a decibel drop, but that's okay, because we are trying to recreate realistic spaces. We can correct it by adding some more gain. The first thing we should do is move the position point. Let's move it to the back and to the side. Let's open up the spatializer and click the reverb button. Let's choose a nice big reverb that will sound lush over headphones. Above is the reflection section. This is a little more subtle than the reverbs, but adds a very nice real dimension to the early reflection sound. Most importantly, Let's move over to the sequencer and enable it. The main display will show the sequencer waypoints, depicted as color balls with numbers. During sequencer playback, the cursor moves along a trajectory defined by the waypoints. The slots parameter sets the number of time slots from 2 to 8. Newly created slots are shown as empty, which corresponds to musical rests. During playback, trajectories interpolate through empty slots to the next available waypoint. Click on a slot to select it, then click it again to create a waypoint in the slot. You can then position the waypoint in the slot, or for finer control, drag it in the main view or use the position knobs. Typing delete will delete the waypoint in the current slot, leaving it empty. The waypoint in slot 1 cannot be deleted because sequences need at least one waypoint. The sequencer is always synchronized to the host DAW transport. The sync source is either Beats or LFO. Beats uses the host's musical transport position. LFO generates Beats based on a rate parameter in Beats per minute. In either case, the sequencer will not play unless the host transport is running and actively processing samples.